Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says the slow start to the country's counteroffensive will soon pick up steam. Deploying new weapons like U.S. supplied clustered munitions could help support that optimism. Ukrainian forces are looking to push back an increasingly aggressive and entrenched Russian presence along the Eastern Front. A retired U.S. Air Force Colonel uh, Cedric Layton joins us now. Uh, Colonel Layton, great to see you. Um, your sense of it, has this been a slow counteroffensive? Can Ukraine pick up the slack? The answer is yes to both, Jim. Okay. Uh, and uh, I think the reason for that is the, you know, when you, Zelensky was right uh, with the way he talked about this at the Aspen Security Conference, because what he was saying was, uh, you know, this took a while to get things there. The, the weapon systems, the munitions, the resupply of everything, the training, all of that really played a major role in the timing of the counteroffensive. And plus, the other thing is, we all have to be honest, we did a lot of talking about the counteroffensive, and there was more talk than action. And uh, I think that they lost the element of surprise in this particular case on the Ukrainian side. Yeah, it was one of the most uh, foreshadowed things yeah. that we've seen so far. Uh, and we've seen the Ukrainian military deploying these uh, U.S. supplied cluster munitions uh, for the first time in the, in the past few days. Mm -hmm. um, what is your sense of it? Is it making a meaningful difference? Or is it, are they really going to need some upgrades in other areas? Well, they're definitely going to need upgrades in other areas because the cluster munitions are there. They are, are making a difference. The Russians have definitely noticed them. They are also responding with cluster munitions of their own. Yeah. Uh, and because of that, what that's, what that's doing, Jim, is uh, it's kind of upping the ante on both sides. But I think the Ukrainians have a bit of an advantage here. First of all, the American cluster munitions have a less of a fail rate, a, a dud rate, as we call it in the business, right. uh, than the Russian munitions do. And the other part of it is, is that the resupply mechanisms are definitely in place for not only the cluster munitions, but the more conventional munitions, uh, the single shot munitions, in essence, that uh, will resupply their 155 millimeter weapons and things like that. So that's going to make a big difference, I think, for the Ukrainians in a positive way for them. And Russia has consistently attacked Odessa uh, this past week, hitting grain stores. Zelensky says that's been deliberate. Uh, your thoughts on that? Yeah, it's absolutely deliberate because when you look at the geography of Odessa, you know, where Odessa sits on the Ukrainian coast and on the Black Sea, the northwestern part of the Black Sea, what the Russians have always wanted to do is cut that part of the Ukrainian coast off from access to the Black Sea. In other words, make Ukraine a landlocked country. Uh, they tried to do that at the very beginning. They failed. Uh, they're trying to do it again. Uh, they will probably fail again, but it does show that there is a weakness in the Ukrainian air defense systems. They need to ramp up uh, the supply of Patriots, uh, other uh, systems, uh, Iris T from the Germans and other uh, air defense systems that would really be uh, a very beneficial thing. One, one positive note, uh, the Ukrainians are reporting that they're be being able to shoot down 100 percent of the Shahid uh, drones. That mm. is a major impact, not in Odessa, but in other areas. And if they can replicate that success in the Odessa area, that'll make a big difference uh, for that, uh, that port city. And I'm sure you saw this report, top foreign policy advisor to French President uh, Emmanuel Macron says China is delivering military equipment to Russia that could be used uh, in Ukraine, uh, although not on a massive scale. W what's going on there? So I think what they're talking about, at least what the French tried to clarify uh, this as, is dual-use technologies. So it's not like they're sending a tank directly to Ukraine, but they're sending pieces and parts that can be used in tanks. And that kind of thing is, is really important because, uh, you know, I've always had the suspicion that the Chinese are going to do some kind of tacit support to the Russians. And I think that's probably what's happening. And because of that, uh, the Russians are gaining a bit of an advantage. They have a supply line to the Chinese. Uh, that supply line can't really be cut by Western uh, military actions or even economic actions. And uh, that's going to help the Russians for some time. But it won't be the panacea that they're, that they're hoping for. All right, very good. Uh, Colonel Cedric Layton, thanks so much. Great to talk to you. Appreciate it as always.